Hey kitties, welcome to Show and Tell at Blue Table. I have something extra special for you today. Uh, this is a drop pod that uh, I made in the quickest and cheapest way possible. I know there's like a zillion drop pod recipes out there. Uh, little uh, templates where you cut it out. And I've looked at those and I'm thinking this is five to ten man hours at least. Sometimes even just to build them. And uh, I look at the Forge World one, which is something like $60, and I'm thinking, that's a pretty good deal for what you get, because the Forge World drop pods are awesome. But uh, if you've been reading the blog, you know that I played a game with an Ultramarine Death from Above drop pod player. Uh, and he, he, he was great, by the way, a great sport, and uh, I really look forward to playing with him again. Anyway, it, g it gave me the inspiration of making some cheapy drop pods. Um, and uh, so this is what I came up with. This is basically, I cut the fins out of one inch hard styro to the shape that I want, and then I slice the one inch strip in half, so each of these are a half inch. There's a central core, uh, which I form out of a two inch uh, square, I guess six inch tube of, um, of a hard styro, and then I cut off the edges to make an octagon, and then I put the fins on. These things are buttresses. Uh, there's a ton of them left over when you do a Cities of Death building. You've got a rhino hatch and then a few other miscellaneous pieces from a Cities of Death kit here. And some decals, a uh, rhino top hatch here. I uh, made some burn marks where it had come down uh, out of the sky under with intense heat. Um, uh, so I really just treated this as a terrain piece. Uh, it's really about it. If I could go back and do it again, I'd find something circular for the base. I think that would look a lot more attractive and um, not hamper gameplay at all. So there you go. There's my uh, inexpensive, simple little drop pod.